Hello, I'm Irvin Eisenberg coming to you from Resilience Occupational Therapy. In this video, I wanted to discuss sciatic pain. Um, so sciatic pain is characteristic of pain coming down the back of the leg. Um, it often comes with standing a lot or sitting a lot. And there are two basic causes of sciatic pain. There is sciatica proper, which is a herniation, a bulging disc, pushing on the nerve in the low back, um, which pushes on the sciatic nerve as it's leaving the back, causing that nerve entrapment, that impingement that is causing pain, numbness, tingling, weakness, any of the above down the back of the leg. There are things that I can do to help with, with sciatica, um, posture and ergonomics and some, some release. It's a little bit more difficult than piriformis syndrome, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, often people confuse sciatica proper, which is that impingement at the, in the low back that we're talking about, with piriformis syndrome. So the piriformis is a muscle that crosses the hip from the sacrum um, across to the greater trochanter, um, that outer round bit on, the, on your uh, humerus, on your femur, not your humerus, your humerus is in your arm. Um, and the sciatic nerve passes underneath or sometimes actually in between this piriformis muscle. So when the piriformis is extra tight in, in the, about the 20% of the people who it's passing between, it's very likely to be pinching that sciatic nerve. Um, and regardless, even if it's going underneath, it could be pinching that sciatic nerve. So there is piriformis syndrome, which is where you have a tendency to have that pinched um, sciatic nerve at the point of the piriformis. Now it gets a little bit more tricky because the piriformis is innervated um, by the sciatic nerve that having a restriction, having an impingement, proper sciatica um, at your lumbar vertebrae can actually cause an irritation that will then encourage your piriformis to then tighten. And then the piriformis is again pushing on the sciatic nerve. So that would be double crush. The sciatic nerve is being squeezed or crushed further up um, at the lumbar spine as well as further down um, at the piriformis. So the piriformis is I feel like when there is it's piriformis syndrome um, is a little easier to work with as a body worker. Um, there's, as I said, there's still things we can do to help with sciatica proper, but if it's piriformis syndrome, there's a lot that can be done to help release that piriformis and make more ease in the hip motion to make it um, easier for you to um, not have your sciatic pain. So you can have piriformis syndrome on its own, you can have sciatica proper on its own, and you can have double crush of both the sciatica proper and the piriformis. Often they do go together. So even if somebody has um, a herniation or an impingement at the lumbar spine, they still might get some degree of relief from having their piriformis working with it. In any case, it's very complicated. I recommend um, before jumping into any conclusions or any particular exercises for it or stretches to seek out a healthcare practitioner, an occupational therapist, a physical therapist, chiropractor, your physician, whoever might be appropriate for you. But there's a little bit of education on the difference between the piriformis syndrome and sciatica proper. Thank you for listening. Um, if you liked this video, you can always like it down below and that helps out. In any case, I hope it helped.